Okay, hey, I wanted to show you some things. I've never really showed you intense corner beam. And when I mean intense, I mean corner beam that has a lot of different angles on it and corners and things like that. So I wanted to show you this. Now, I've got this piece that's coming up at an angle that hits here. And what you really want to do is you want to kind of trim this in so it fits. So all I did was I took, I took the piece and it was a long piece. You know what, let's go to the other angle. And I'll show you real quick because I got this piece cut. Real, I got this piece cut from this side, but I don't have this side cut yet. And uh, I don't need these right now. But I'll show you how I do this real quick. Um, I just need a piece, but this piece is long. So I mean, I, it's it's too long if you see that. But the first thing I have to do is I have to trim this angle. So now I can put it up there. And now all I do is I sit there and say, okay, this is about the end of it. So I'm going to guesstimate that this is the end right here. And I'm just going to get it close. Closer than it was before. So now I can put this back up here and I can say, oh, it's right on. But if it was a little long, you don't want to cut it short. But if it was a little long, I could take it back down and I could just trim it. And, and when I trim, when I trim corner bead, a lot of times if I just have to trim just a little bit off, see how this is unsquare? That is really unsquare. And if I wanted to square that up, all I do is I take it like this and I just I just go right around like that. And uh, and I and I clean it up a little bit. But now I have that piece cut. I have to cut the other pieces. Sorry, my headphones are getting in my way. Um, so let's go into the other room because in the other room, I've got these corners and, and these can be tricky sometimes, but I'm gonna show you how to do a corner like that. So when I have the pieces already cut, I just have to trim them in. So I have all of these pieces are cut, but I haven't trimmed them in. Now the first piece that I cut and I put on here, I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to leave it square. I am not going to cut these off at all, right? So the next piece, when I put the next piece on, I'll do this one because of the camera. When I put the next piece on, I'm going to make sure that it all lines up nice and, nice and neat. And it does, and this lines up really nice and neat, so, so it all lines up. And what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to trim the one side, okay? I'm just trimming that one side. And the reason being is I don't want a big buildup. I don't want a big buildup of corner bead right here. So by trimming the one side, I took out a lot of that metal. Now, when I do this one and put this one in place, I'm going to trim both sides. So watch what happens. I trim this side, and I trim this side, and when I put these three together, when I put these three together, and I push this up, I'm going to have a nice tight corner. And I don't have a big buildup of corner bead here, here, or here. So when I run this through the hopper and I mud these in, this is going to be a very nice tight corner. So you, again, look at this piece. I've only trimmed one side. This piece I trimmed no sides, and this piece I trimmed both sides. So when you're doing a corner, that's pretty important to do that. All right, that's pretty much all I got. I got to get back to work and stop taking videos and screwing around. I got a long day today. You guys have a great day. Hey, I want to thank you for watching. Um, I hope it's educational. I hope you've learned something. Uh, so if you really like what you see, please subscribe.